Hey everyone, I have just received this little box which contained my HQS1 pistol blaster. Let's open this thing together. I'm your host Dave, welcome to that. The HQS1 pistol blaster. Basically, it's a CNC jolt, a all metal CNC, let's say a Dark Zone Max Solo. Fun fact, this HQS1 was announced two days prior to the announcement of the Dark Zone Max Solo. Uh, maybe it's a coincidence, maybe it's just synchronicity. Looks like two different companies released the same blaster at exactly the same time. But uh, they are not exactly the same. To find out, let's not lose any more time, go on the table and open this little box. Then we're gonna have a better look at this new blaster. The little HQS1. HQ is more known in Asia as uh, the other manufacturer, the Saber, Swin, and <laughs> the HQ of this world, ZWQ, the CNC blaster manufacturer. As for quality goes, uh, let's say if I would have to mark the quality of the Chinese manufacturer as for CNC internal part, because I cannot judge a blaster for all of them, I would have to put uh, worker less HQ slightly, slightly above them, and then I would put ZWQ, and right on top for quality, it's Saber and Swin on a tie. I mean, those swim and saber part are just something else. The machining is crazy on those. There is some sensitive information on this package, which I don't want you to have. So I am going to cut out this bag, remove the box, and then we're going to check that out. That is done. Let's check that thing. Mm, another package in a package. Okay, fun. Little Allen key, small O-rings. Spare the Allen key is tiny. Good thing I have my trusty screwdriver sets with me. Big keychain o-ring and ooh, this is nice. Not sure about this green part here. Maybe I would have put it a different color, but this is nice. Okay, there is some chamfering on this barrel, so it's sealed with that o-ring. Oh, it's magnetic. Okay, that is my question to HQ. Why, if you put the trigger gold, did you put this little thing green? This thing would have needed to be gold to fit with the rest. Ah, come on there. But the finish is quite nice. I'm happy this is not a mirror finish. I was quite worried about it. Uh, the original picture I saw were that. This is like a frosted finish. I like that. As for quality goes, I am looking for issue, for flaw on it. So far, so good. Look really, really nice. And this thing is magnetic. This is pretty neat. It's, uh, yeah. I think it is smaller than my dart zone. On second top, this thing is much, much smaller than my Dart Zone Max Solo. Dart Zone Max Solo was originally giving me a uh, 110-ish FPS. That's minimally what I expect from this thing. It's supposed to output 140 to 150 according to the website and according to HQ. Let's try this thing. Hopefully, it's gonna meet those expectations. I mean, the machining is very, very nice. There is a micro loose here, which tells me the O-ring is not pushing on the barrel. Maybe it's just some adjustment to do on it. 
but for the operation this is rather smooth let's try that thing a uh, quick quick chrono for this thing average x shot dart gonna give us a good idea 108.8 okay so i guess ghost dart is gonna be sub 100 102.6 okay if i try to shoot a bamboo in it hundred and four point six not really better a dragon dart hundred and sixteen point seven okay this is not the exact powerhouse that was advertised but again let me try the seal on this thing Uh, no, there is a slight restriction, but there is no seal on this thing. Meaning I might have to open it. Those are, those are super tiny. Uh, including the Allen key, which is not even straight. Uh, this is, yeah. Come on, HQ. This is an expensive blaster. I mean, this is a 70 US dollar jolt. This is a near hundred dollar canadian blaster and this is the kind of tooling you provide with it i mean that's not cutting it uh, for the rest the hardware look okay everything seems very beautifully assembled i noticed that here the trigger rubs on the barrel when you close the blaster and I would not be very violent into slapping this blaster down when it's closed. I would be scared of breaking this small aluminum part right here. But then again, I will try to contact HQ to obtain one of a different color. Maybe a red or a gold one to match the trigger on this thing. I mean, it's a quick average of 108 FPS, minimum 102, maximum 116 on various different kind of dart, including a dragon dart, which, which was less than stellar. Oh, it closed. Well, this little HQ S1, in the end, uh, two things here. First, let's go with the good. Uh, I like the fact that this thing is CNC aluminum. It gives a little something more to this blaster. Plus, uh, for a HQ blaster, which normally are really expensive, this $70 seems like a bargain. Plus, I can't really know which one is the original model between this and the Dart Zone Max Solo, so we're gonna call them both jolt so this cnc metal jolt is okay i mean i have almost a seal there is a little might be just under lube or the barrel not really adjusted i'm gonna have to tune that up we're gonna see that in another video now for what is less good about this thing first thing i would say what my eyes can see is the quality of machining or the finish not that it's really really bad but it's uneven i'm pretty sure that even with the lighting you can see the difference between this part and this part it's almost like they skipped the finishing pass or finishing step on this part and this part because i can feel the machining line on the rounded section which is not normal for those kind of blaster plus most of the edge are not really sharp because they kind of rounded them or angled them but they are really not comfortable the trigger pull is a bit harsh on this blaster judging on the angle of it you see i had kind of a bit of a seal this thing is only fetching 100 fps and that's another thing i don't like hq and the reseller are basically advertising this thing 440 fps uh, I am not there. I am not there at all. I wish it was that, but that is really not the case here. 
I barely crossed the 105 mark with this blaster. This is a bit disappointing. I completely skipped the fire test. This is basically a jolt. Accuracy is not not better or worse than any blaster with a very short metal barrel that shoot 100 FPS. I mean, it's okay for accuracy. As for performance, I just said it. It's about 100 FPS, which is a bit disappointing. Speaking of sharp edges, which I was speaking earlier, this little front sight is not very fun to touch. On this point here, it is very, very sharp. Hear me right here. I still like this little thing. I am gonna tune it. I am gonna put some time into it. Any blaster that costs more than $50 deserves some of my time so I can make it better. So I will do it with this one too. I would say this thing is worth maybe 30, 40 United States dollar, but for the price they are asking for, 70 United States dollar, this is under delivering. This is not supposed to be with those kind of blaster. When we pay this kind of amount, this kind of premium price, for a blaster, we want good results. This one is going to need too much tuning to work properly. So no, I really cannot recommend it. Yeah, that's it for this small video. In the meantime, you can always follow me on Facebook and Instagram at that old nerve guy. Please leave a like and comment, subscribe for more content. Don't forget to hit that bell to notify for my latest video. This was Dave Fatag. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.